Today, I'm in Vancouver and I'm here to deprogram the Irish to think they're Canadian. The Irish to think they're Canadian have a distinctive character that differentiates them from other social groups. They're softer, less hardworking and 65% more likely to be in an indie band than the Irish to think they're Australian, who are more inclined to being feral crystal meth smoking criminals with mullets. The Irish that think they're Canadian suffer with an internalised post-colonial longing. They have a misplaced nostalgia for traumatic pasts that they never lived, trying to recreate the manufactured potato scarcity imposed in the 1840s by emigrating to places that don't stock potato crisps like British Columbia. I would offer you one, but I'm hungry. Irish people are not Canadian, no matter how long they've been wearing ice hockey jerseys and smoking BC Bud in Kitsilano. They drink in local Irish pubs with other Irish people who refuse to acclimatise to the local culture because they're already halfway through their second two-year working visa and they're desperately frightened of being challenged. The Irish that think they're Canadian tend to be in their early 20s and moving to Canada is often the first time these baby birds have had to learn how to chew their food all by themselves. These Irish fledglings that fly the nest get so overwhelmed by the sudden amount of freedom that they don't know what to do with it, which is why they instantly get sick after taking a few blows off a hash joint. The Irish that think they're Canadian engage in a process that I like to call Canada Core, a pathology that's based on the constant promotion of Canada on Instagram, even though nobody asked them. These Canada Core patients do the grunt work of the Canadian tourism industry, choosing to exploit themselves by endorsing Canada as a lifestyle brand. Therefore, the Irish that think they're Canadian are just the unpaid propagandists of Justin Trudeau. And interestingly, they're also the only ethnicity that he's never dressed up as.